I'm Carrie Hoover with Salic Film News. Welcome back to the Dallas International Film Festival. Thanks for, Thanks having, for having us. us. <laughs> uh, I'm Renee Felice Smith. I'm C.A. Gabriel. And, and we're with. We directed and co wrote The Relation Trip. Yes, so you guys were have been in this, like, you are a couple, yeah? Yes. yes. Okay, we are. just check in. Yes, yeah. I was like, that would. I would make it awkward that way, like yeah. 10 seconds in. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so how long have you guys been working together? Mm -hmm. How long have you known each other, been together? Sure, sure, sure. Like, mm -hmm. uh, Chris and I started working together, what, like maybe four years ago? Probably around four years ago. Yeah, we made a couple shorts together. We made a music video for Funny or Die, and then we were like, well, I think we just need to take the plunge and write a feature, and, you know. Yeah. And do that. We were going to, you know, we can make more shorts. We can keep doing that and spend, you know, we were spending every hiatus from Renee's show that she shoots on mm -hmm. right. uh, making work. And we were like, well, what do we want to do this summer? Let's right. make some more shorts right. or let's just take the dive and yeah. make a feature. Chris and I met in sixth grade, though, to answer your second question. That long. Yeah. We've been friends for a very long time. We were kind of in the same friend group going up, growing up, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, trampoline parties in the backyard, yeah. that whole nice. thing. Yes. You know. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Austinites, yes. No, no New Yorkers. No. Austin, New Yorkers. Mm -hmm. But, but we did, love Texas. We yes. did play Good. South by You South did play South by. <laughs> 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 yes, their world premiere. How did it go? It was, it was great. great. Yeah. It was, it was so really much fun. fun. Uh, it was just cool to see it with a group of people. I mean, we've been watching <laughs> it kind of in, in been a Been watching dark it on room. the screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, for just yeah, you know the two of us, twenty-two inch screen for the past you know ten months. So it yeah. was pretty, it was pretty cool to see it mm -hmm. with an audience and and a real theater with you know huge sound. sound. We were at the yeah. Al Alamo Draft House, so that yeah. was like it was yeah. so cool. Yeah. It was really fun. Now I've got to ask. I've only I think in the entire time I've been interviewing people, I've only talked to I think one other pair mm -hmm. of hmm. co-directors. Hmm. They were brothers. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, well, I mean, do you just have to be kind of already stuck like glue to make that relationship huh. work? That's, That's funny. interesting. I think you really have to have a similar sensibility and brothers that make sense or, you know, people in a relationship who actually get along with each other right. also make sense. It's important. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Chris and I share a really similar aesthetic and uh, we like to watch, you know, kind of similar content to mm -hmm. begin with. So. I think that that helps. That helps, yeah. And we trust each other probably the way the way that brothers would too. We're not that brothers. We're not, we're not. We're not brothers. Right. That would make it a little. <laughs> that would be weird. That would make it a little awkward. <laughs> but I mean, like we it, we communicate, we trust yeah. each other, and that helps. It's there is a, like you said, like stuck like glue. There is a stronger bond than just two people directing a movie together. I imagine mm -hmm. that would be hard mm -hmm. if you didn't have that. But honestly, you know, as a directing pair, I think we're more effective than if we were solo. If either of us were sure. solo, mm -hmm. we have a different skill set, which comp those skill sets complement each other, mm -hmm. and that's what makes us stronger together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go from the other direction. Like, when you've worked so closely together, been friends for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know you have the same artistic sensibilities, kind of maybe the same sense of humor. Mm -hmm. What's it like to bring that out of isolation when you've got a whole cast and a whole crew to take care of? Great question. Yeah. Great question. It's a balancing act, mm -hmm. I think. What would you yeah, say? Yeah, I think for us when we were on set, a, the, a big thing that we would try to do is the the tone on set and the mm -hmm. morale, and like we had a pretty small crew. Mm -hmm. Relatively small. Mm -hmm. We were living like in the house that we shot in. To 20 people. Right. We were living in the house that we shot in with our other lead actor, so we got very close very fast. My and mom. we just kept, and, and <laughs> Renee's mom was there. Yeah. Awesome. She's VIP. Set mom. Yep. Mm -hmm. MVP, VIP, all of it. But we just kept it like fun. We wanted it always to feel like we were making something for fun. Yeah. And like we weren't just at work. And, yeah, because it's this a comedy. Is extracurricular. It right. was for us anyway. You sure. Know, well, I'm an actor. I have a, a, a day job, so to speak. Chris mm -hmm. is a composer. And so this was our project outside of all of that. Mm -hmm. um, so for us, it was that. It was that yeah. fun thing. And we wanted everyone else to feel that as well. It was like summer camp, you know? It was kind of a big experiment for us. And we want to do it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are there plans to do it again? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. We're 
talking about we're brainstorming you know, the next what project. comes next so that's like one of my favorite things to do at film festivals is like when somebody brings their feature I'm kind of like so do you have any ideas uh -huh. and about half of the people will say yes yeah uh -huh. and then you it's like the next four or five years you watch for them you're like yeah okay which one of those ideas is yes. going to come yes. back yes. That's funny. And yeah. so uh, this year we talked to a filmmaker on the red carpet. I'm like, you told me about this at your premiere That's party so four cool. years ago. I and love that. he appeared again. So That's I'm really like, cool. That's very cool. So I'm kind of like, okay, you have to give me like a little nugget okay. so that I can go off of it and watch for you guys again. Okay. Well, in the vein of, you know, exploring relationships, this would be a uh, place in the kind of near distant future. Mm -hmm. What is the what does the future of dating look like? Right. That's and probably all we'll go. That's probably all we can say. All future we can say of dating. Now. Yeah. Yes. Sorry to say there was there's another I don't know if rom com is the word. Sure. She would say it's not the word. Uh, the Big Spoon is here. Okay. If you've met Mallory yeah, yeah. and Carlin, and their tagline is actually an unromantic comedy. That's <laughs> awesome. That's and cool. when I was reading this synopsis, I was like I think they would probably get along. Yeah, uh -huh. it's yeah. Like totally. Not knowing uh, mm -hmm. either person's personality, I yep. think we should probably put them together. That makes sense. That makes sense. That yeah. makes a lot of sense to us. That's cool. That's kind of what we are, ours is too. It's the it's like an anti rom com. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we tried to shake it up, you mm -hmm. know, and do the unexpected. Mm -hmm. It's really funny how like yeah. art and life to get all you know sure. transcendental. Do on it. You. Go there. It, is hilarious. Some of us were just after the gala screening the other night. We yeah. were just hanging out at a restaurant yeah. that had stayed open late for us, and like it seems like naturally the conversation just turns there. Sure. You know, you meet you know other people your age and of your course. similar station of life, and you know you're all interested in art, and you're kind of like, dude, let me tell you this story. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, this and so it's like this weird fellowship. Sure. Yeah. Weird fellowship of the film festival singles. We get it. Yep. <laughs> we totally get it. And, you know, we have been in a relationship for a long time, but a lot of our friends are not in relationships, and mm -hmm. we're fascinated with that. How do people meet each other? What happens when they do? What happens when they go zero to 60 in one weekend? Mm -hmm. We make a movie about it. So awesome. yeah. that's basically what's... We've what, made you know. it, we. It's become a hobby of ours to pry into our friends' <laughs> new relationships. It's just, Mining it. It's just, fun. Yeah, it is. Because I mean, we've been together for almost what eight years. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So it's like no one wants to hear about that. That's boring. No. So we, you know, we you want to hear about, about the that. the new stuff, the weird stuff, the yeah. quirky stuff. Yeah. Unless you're like chronically single, like me, and I'm just like, what? You've known each other since grade. I know. It's we need to make a movie funny. about this, too. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, yeah. maybe. Well, maybe one of these days. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't count it out. We'll count it out. <laughs> All right, well, I can't thank you guys enough for being here. I hope you this have a lot great. of fun. I hope you come back to Texas. Thanks, totally. Even though yeah. you're not from Austin. Well, that's okay. It's okay. We love it. <laughs> we, we're loving it. We're looking for some queso, so. Yes. Oh, we can. I think we can probably help Give them out the with that. This room okay. is going to help you okay. with that. Okay. So, yeah, okay. we've heard. We we've that. heard. A little birdie told us, you know, oh, check this place. So. Oh, in Texas, we make our cake. I know. Uh -huh. We know. We, we can get you some guacamole too yeah, if you're baby. feeling. I'm. I'm looking for. If you're a feeling a, dip. to get mm -hmm. it crazy. Yeah, I want to bounce mm -hmm. around the table looking a little bit. Looking for a one-two. Uh -huh. one, we can do that. Okay. We can do that for you. Straight my mouth. All right. Thank you guys.